coming up on Little Women Dallas. Hey guys. Hey. I'm really excited to see what Emily and Tara think of my design. There's this one. Uh, so they're like too cartoony. Cheap. <laughs> this is definitely worth watching. <laughs> And your winner this evening? Come on, Amanda! Free game over. She basically gave me a pregnancy test and it came out positive. Thanks for going and getting your blood work done. I do have those results showing that you would be about three to four weeks pregnant. I'm not ready to be a mom. I'm not ready to raise a baby. I've been planning to come back to Dallas. Does Kip know you're coming back? No, she has no idea. I was wondering if you would do me the honor and be my wife. You make me feel so good. I'm gonna make you mine. I'm gonna make you mine. You got me all fired up. See you. How about now? Yep, I can see you now. What are you doing? Just hanging out. Is anyone around? No. I recently just got some news and it turned my world upside down. And I really just need my sister's advice. Two pink lines means you're pregnant. Nope, I'm not. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. I wanted to talk to you, and I mean, I guess everyone's been like worried about me because like I've been sick. So Bree came over. <sighs> she basically gave me a pregnancy test, and it came out positive. What? You're, you're joking, right? I wish I was. I just can't believe that you would let this happen. I don't want it to happen. I'm not ready to be a mom, and I'm not ready to raise a baby, because I can't even, I can't even provide for myself. Like, I'm scared. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, if Dad finds out, he'll be so, like, mad. So what, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to the doctor just to make sure. If you are, you need to figure out what you're going to do. I'm going to try to put on a brave face because I don't want anyone to know how scared I am. It may be scary, but we'll, we'll get through it. No matter what happens and no matter the outcome of anything, we're a family and we're always going to be there for you. I'm going to go. I just kind of want to... Go lay down now. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you guys are gonna pretend like you're a superstar in your own surf movie. In three, two, one, take a little dive onto your board. Lower down. All right, let's paddle. I'm in full prep mode for my upcoming bodybuilding competition. Since I've been kind of getting sick at the gym, I've been trying to find new ways to work out. So I invited the ladies for an indoor surf class. Besides being really fun, it's also a really good core workout. Left foot forward, transfer your weight. Little toe heel, perfect. <laughs> and a little twerk. I don't want any of the other girls knowing that I took a pregnancy test. So I had to show up to this class today and act normal, even though all I want to do is hide in bed. Well, thanks, Amanda, for that nice workout. I just wanted to get out of the gym, kind of sick of that, and got to keep working out anyway before the show. So yeah. the competition's this weekend, so I wanted to invite everyone to come out. And even yes. meet your squad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'll be, sure. I'll be there. I'll be there. I've been training really hard for a local bodybuilding competition that's this weekend. I'm really nervous. This is my first bodybuilding competition in Dallas, and I just hope they take me seriously. And then Zach will be back in town for the show. Woo! He'll be bringing my dad. You guys oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. I miss your dad. Your dad nice. is awesome. <laughs> 
It'll help a lot. That's the only thing I'm really kind of nervous about since it's my first Texas show is not like knowing anyone going into it. But Have you ever competed with another little person at all? No. I was the first girl to start doing That's it. That's awesome. So it'll be fun to step on stage again, but I'm really ready to enjoy yeah. myself after. She's going to eat like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Bring purses full of donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have some M&M's? No. You're not going to share? I get the brown one. Here. Huh. Hey, Bree, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Nothing, how are you? Good. Just sitting here with Meek. Austin texted me earlier and asked if I could talk. I'm sure he wants Tiffany advice, but I know he's not dumb enough to call Kaylee or Emily. They hate him. I'm at least willing to hear him out because I know she misses him. What's going on? Uh, nothing. Um, actually calling, uh, I've been planning to come back to Dallas. Really? Mm-hmm. Does Tiff know you're coming back? No, she has no idea. So you're surprising her again? Yeah. <laughs> That's a big risk there. You know, I'm ready to come back. It's just, you know, I don't know how she really feels about the whole situation. What? Has she said anything while me being gone? Like, you think it'd be a good idea, or? Um, she's spoken to us a little bit. I mean, if you have everything, like, all in line and you're, like, ready to show her that you're committed and you're changing the things that she wanted you to change, then, yeah, it would be great for you to come back and like show her and everything right and that's what i want to do i want to show her I, I can be the man she wants me to be you know what i mean yeah i know tiffany hasn't been completely happy ever since austin left if he's really turned his life around like he says then i think he should come back and show tiffany well hey, i was thinking maybe like we could get together because i want to make it a really big surprise and i might need your help on a few things if that's okay yeah, that's fine. Still got to get a few things together, but okay. I'll keep you posted for sure and let you know when it's going to happen and whatnot. Okay. That's good you have a plan. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, it's All right, talking hey, to I'll you. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Are you coming? No. There's just a FaceTime call. He's in Ohio. Yeah, it's kind of up north. What are you doing? Trying to set it up so it's like a legit conference call. So that way she can see us. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me see what you have though before we call. Uh, yeah. Emily asked me to design the logo for the mini bar. And this will be my very first big art gig that I'll be getting paid for. I'm really excited to see what Emily and Tara think of my designs. Cause this could really mean something for my career. I know you said you wanted like the graffiti kind of style. So I was trying to mix that in with like whatever just random styles that I could think of. I mean, my two that I favor are these two. Mm -hmm. Just because the colors kind of pop out. this with the bar. I don't know, maybe change the rocks to more of like a wood look because yeah, yeah, the yeah. back of the venue, the wall is like wood in the back. So maybe instead of having it come out of like cement rock or whatever. It could be like wood, wood. instead, like yeah. breaking out of wood. I think they're good to show her. Yeah. I'm curious what she thinks. Some of the designs Asa came up with looked really cool and it seems like she incorporated what I asked. But since Tara's my equal partner in the mini bar, she has to sign off on everything, too. Hey, guys. Hey. This is Asta. Hi. Hi, Asta. So we got her designs together. So she wants to show you them and see what we think. Cool. I like it. OK. All right. Here's this. Here's the first one. Kind of like a graffiti style. Yeah, because I know that's like what Emily originally told me. She wanted like a contemporary, but kind of like graffiti. Right. That one. Here's the second one. Awesome. OK, there's this one. Cool. And then there's this one. Uh, all right. Yeah. Out of those ones, is there one that like sticks out to you more? Um. I think they're all cool logos. I just don't know if any of them are right 
for the pop-up. Like I think they all kind of look at a like lower scale kind of audience. And I think that we need to like focus on an upper scale audience. So they're like too cartoony. Cheap. I designed these based on Emily's input. So if you think these are cheap, Tara, why don't you go talk to your business partner? I would rather it look more sleek and upscale. Right. More like today, more modern. Gotcha. I'm really kind of stressed about this because not only does the logo still need to get made, but we still have to order posters. I, I'd love if there was a huge red carpet. I mean, yeah. Yeah. those kinds of things need to be in full effect and we can't even do that if there's not a logo. And I just don't want it to look like something childish. All right. I mean, is it a hard thing to make new logos or does it take a while to like come up with that, Asta? That is a stressful thing about logos though. They usually take time in order to make them. Yeah. So I guess I just have to make sure it gets done and looks good at the same time. Yeah. I just, I know I can't be there to help. You have a lot on your plate and you're handling a lot and I need it to be right in order for us to move forward. Because we're well, yeah. on a time crunch now. Yeah, I got you. Let's try right. and get stuff turned over in like 24 hours. I mean, we're we're down to the wire right now. And I just don't know yes. if it's anywhere near what it should be. These two have no idea how long it takes to come up with a design and also draw them out. 24 hours is crazy. I'm gonna be in town in a week and I just really want everything to kind of be in place before I get there so that it's not chaos when I get there. Yeah, <laughs> but we're gonna make it happen. When you get here, it'll all come together. Don't worry, we got this. Got it? Yeah, I got it. We got it. All right, good talk. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> 24 hours, Jeez, oh my God. Can you get the big piece? Of course, baby. <laughs> Ty and I found a local independent art gallery here in Dallas a couple of weeks ago. I've been in contact with the owner, and I'm trying to get my artwork into their next show. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? How are you? I spoke on the phone the other day with Sandro. Yeah, that's me. Hey. How are you? Nice to Wonderful meet you. Wonderful to meet you. Hi, Ty. Sandro. Nice to meet you, Sandro. Nice, nice to meet you. Too. So I brought like five paintings of mine. Okay. So I'm hoping that you guys like them. Take a look. She's been working hard on this. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, look at that, Brett. Cool. I love it. We've got a lot of wall space we're trying to fill up. Do you have more pieces than just this? Um, right now that is all that I have for this collection. If you're gonna be part of the show, I, I need at least double what you have here. Producing twice the amount of work in one week is insane. I've never had to actually work that fast, but having a show here would really put me on the map in Dallas. I mean, I think I can do it. Okay, feel yeah. free to take a look around, see what you think and let me know. All right, sounds good, All thank right. you. Thanks. Thanks, Gus. I know this is a lot to do, but I want you to make this work. This is your time to shine. It's stressful right now because I already agreed to Emily that I'm going to be doing this logo for her and Tara. I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure if I have enough time for this. This is your dreams. I want you to try to try to do this. Finally, I get this chance to actually show off my art, and that's important to me. Right. And this is exactly what I need to focus on. Absolutely. Like not, I mean, Emily's logo comes second. This deadline is way more important than hers. When it's enough bullshit, this is more important to me. Absolutely. I have an appointment. My name is Kaylee. Kaylee, um, yes, if you can just have a seat over there. Uh, right. The doctor will be with you shortly. All right, thank you. Thank you. Even though my pregnancy test at home said positive, I want to be 100% sure. I recently got a blood test done, and I'm here to get the results. This one doctor visit could change the rest of my life. It's crazy. That's huh? weird. Like, getting more nervous now. It's a big responsibility. A baby's not just, you know, you pick it up, put it down. Mm -mm. It's 24-7. Having me turn my life upside down, like, I was a party girl, and then it's just, yeah. you're turn, turn right, right to family and mommy mode. And 
I mean, I love kids either way. Like, I want a family one day, but not yet. Not right now. <laughs> not right now. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm the licensed midwife here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bree. Bree, nice to meet you. Come on back. <laughs> I can't support a child right now. I don't want to do this alone. I don't want a baby, and I can't be pregnant. So tell me why you're here today. What's going um, on? I took a pregnancy test, and it came out positive. Okay. So I just want to make sure that I am, because I have been spotting. OK, for how long have you been um, spotting? Probably a week now. OK. Well, most home pregnancy tests do not come up positive, like a false positive. They're usually positive for a reason. And it can be normal to spot during pregnancy, but not all the time. So um, thanks for going and getting your blood work done. I do have those results available. Thanks for going and getting your blood work done. I do have those results available. It does show that you have a pretty high HCG and um, it's showing that you would be about three to four weeks pregnant. When I found out that I was pregnant, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I didn't know what to feel, didn't know what to say. It's gonna be okay, Kaylee. It's gonna be okay, though. So since you're spotting, we would need to do a sonogram to make sure that um, everything's okay. Let's go ahead and bring the sonographer in and get that process rolling. I would do everything in my power to take care of this child. There's options out there, but I know I have a supportive family and supportive friends, so I'd be able to get through it. I do see a little bit of fluid in here, okay? Is that bad, good? It's where your bleeding is coming from. All right, so this is your ovary. Right now, I don't see anything abnormal that I can see on this ultrasound. So I'll talk to the doctor and see what she says. OK. Being young, you think you're invincible. You think something's not going to happen. But it actually does happen. Are you ready for me? So uh, Lori went over the results with me, and um, it doesn't look like there's a pregnancy right now. It, it does look like there's a possibility that it was a miscarriage. OK. To know that you had a miscarriage sucks. Even though you don't want a baby, knowing that a baby was once inside you and then died is the worst feeling in the world. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I'm ready to go home. Thank you for coming here with me. Friends or family. Oh, wow, look at all those colors. Hey. Hi. Hi. I love Hi. this How's card. Going? I'm Amanda. Oh, Nadia, nice Nadia, to meet you. Nadia, nice to meet you. It's my friend Kaylee. Hi. Hi. You can't just wear a regular old bikini to a bodybuilding competition. Everyone gets them custom made. So I asked Kaylee and my friend Amanda, who's a fitness consultant, to come help me out. What I want to do first is pick the fabric color for you. I've had a turquoise one, I've had a green one, I've had like a black one. So I was thinking of going more for like a warmer, like purpley or purpley. red maybe. The color of your hair and your eyes, I don't think red will be a good color, okay. but purple. Purple will work, definitely. Okay. Lighter colors make you wider. I don't know if you knew that. So if you're doing right. blue, royal, I agree. if you're doing purple, you know. Deep, deep. colors, yeah. I Maybe I like, go with like a darker color. one. I yeah, think I, I like, like this one. one yeah. It makes a big difference to have a suit that fits your body perfectly, especially when you're a little person. And most bathing suits don't fit anyway. I've already put in all of the hard work, so now I just need to make sure that I look the best that I can. I got everything I need from you. Let me go back real quick, and I'll figure out the pricing for you. Back. All right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Sweet. What are you thinking about, like, you know, your makeup? Do you do it yourself, or you have someone, do you hire um, someone? Last show I did, I was just backstage by myself, like, curling my hair. You should, like, ask Tiffany to do your hair. I think so, yeah. I'm going to ask her. Maybe I can do your makeup, because, I mean, you know, I've been going to school, and then Definitely. did uh, no, when you were makeup, saying you so. uh, finished school and 
pass your test and I all did. of that, I was like, oh, Kaylee's gonna be my girl. <laughs> Just make sure you practice. The less that can go wrong, the better. It's a lot of pressure to do competition makeup for the very first time. And I wanna do a great job so Amanda's friends will wanna hire me for the future. What's the best you've done in your shows? I've gotten fourth four times out of six shows. Oh, wow. OK, so this is Lucky Seven? Lucky Seven. <laughs> oh, we got it. What's, are we going for definitely, like, what, top three? I'd like to, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would love to qualify for nationals. OK. That would be awesome. Overall, that's my goal. This show is super important to me. I have to beat my personal best. So there's a lot of pressure on me. How do you feel you look compared to the other shows? Um, since I took a good chunk of time off, I lost a lot of muscle. And in mm -hmm. figure world, you some of those muscle. girls are jacked. I stand next to them in yeah. class A. Some of those girls are 5'2", and I'm just like, I feel tiny, yeah. <laughs> like I need more muscle. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good, it's good to see you. You too. What are we here for? Uh. You were saying you wanted to come back, but I didn't think it would be so soon. Yeah. Well, I have a job. Good. Um, and I really miss Tiff. Are we here to get flowers to apologize? Well, it's not an apology. I'm actually wanting to propose to her tonight. Propose? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Austin said he was coming back to show Tiffany that he's changed, not to propose to her. That is a really big step. I know. Like, really, like, get down on one on knee, one ring knee. on everything. Mm -hmm. Do you have the ring already? I do. He's only 19. I hope Tiffany's prepared for this bomb that he's about to drop. Has she seen you yet? No. She doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my god. It's one big surprise. <laughs> a really big surprise. Right. I'm hoping it goes well, though. I'm really nervous about it. Do you think you're ready for all this? I I am. I don't know if she is or not. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what her answer is going to be, if it's going to be yes or no. Or... But, like, I don't know. It's, like, y'all are so young, so it's, like, engagement's, like, a big deal. Yeah, so and that's like... also why I'm worried, because you know, if it's too soon for her, I don't want to do all this and then have it, you know, be turned down, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I have no idea on how Tiffany's going to react to Austin proposing. I know she misses him, but going from kicking him out to being engaged is going from zero to 100 real quick. Hey, Lindsay. Hey. We are going to put an arrangement together for this gentleman. All right. So what's the occasion? So, yeah. Uh, proposing to my girlfriend tonight. Isn't that exciting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Congrats. It's tonight? Yeah, tonight. So do you have do you have the ring with you? I do. Can we look at yeah, it? Yeah, see it. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. This is exciting. Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. Look at it. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Wow, it's really pretty. Did you pick this by yourself? I did. It's really pretty. Thank you. Now, do you feel all in your heart, like you're actually really ready to this and committed to it? Yeah, I'm committed to her. But committed to like engagement and marriage? Yeah, like, the, that's the whole a big deal. step. I know. All right, I'm just gonna wrap this right, up, thank okay? You. Huh? Have you um, talked to her dad or her family to get permission? No, because I didn't. I didn't really know how to approach that, like with her parents. Which I know, I know I probably should have talked to her dad before, but. Okay, so we need bartenders, hostess, entertainment, and servers. Kaylee, go see if they're ready I'll and them ready. get them amped up. Like, yeah. y'all, they need to bring it in this room. Asta's still working on the logo, and right now I'm working on hiring staff for the mini bar. So Kaylee, Bree, and I have a full day of interviews ahead of us. We have so many people to interview, though, because I have to get this place staffed. I'm already worried enough partnering with Tara and having to talk to her about this, and this is my responsibility. Mm -hmm. I definitely have to make sure this goes right. All right, there's Kenny. Hi guys, Hi. how are y'all? So basically, I'm opening a bar that will be staffed with little people. Your resume looks like you have bar experience. I do. I've done everything from bar back to bartending. I've worked on top of the bar, you know, yeah. as a dancer. Um, Bartending's cool. That's like a big thing. Yeah, I know. I know how, know how to make drinks, but I only know how to do like half and half drinks. <laughs> no, I don't do anything like fruity poo poo, uh, like, like frozen margaritas. Like you wouldn't be able to make us a white gummy bear. No. Do you I make don't. Malibu pineapple? Uh, I can do a screwdriver. 
Uh, I guess we'll let you know, though. Okay. Thank you. That's it. I'll walk you out. Thank you, guys. Bye. Um, a bartender that only knows how to make one drink is not a bartender. If this is any indication of the talent levels that these people have, we're screwed. Oh, here's right. CJ. Hi, ladies. How are y'all? Good. Good. How are you? CJ? Bree. Oh, it's going to go well. Emily. It says you're a dancer and you have a big personality. I do, and I am. You want to dance for us? Sure. OK, hang on. We're looking for upbeat personalities with service experience. You can move the chair if you want. But if you want to dance, go ahead. We got his YouTube. Ah! Stop it. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Um, wow. Thank you for coming. Ladies, y'all have a good day. All right. Thank you. Did that make you feel as uncomfortable as it made me feel? <laughs> Didn't you see him do the worm? Well, where the f is he going to do the worm at the bar? On Across the bar? the bar. There he goes. Do you think Tara will like CJ? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm figure, and then for women, there's bikini, figure, physique, and then bodybuilding. It's so great to have Zach, my dad, and all of my friends here to support me. I've never had this big of a crowd come to see me compete, and it makes me feel amazing. But now there's even more pressure for me to kill it. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. Got the whole case? Yeah, oh, you do. Yeah. It's heavy. <laughs> how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So, flip-flops off. Did I grow? You got it. <laughs> what do you want to be? Seven feet. <laughs> so you are four foot and three quarters. All right. I've drank countless protein shakes and spent hours in the gym. I really hope all of this hard work pays off with a big win today. Well, I got to go get tan, so let's head over that okay. way. And if you guys want to wait. I think she don't want us in there because she's going to be naked. Yep. How Hi. are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Erin. Erin, so I just put my shoes right here. Is this your first show? Seventh. Seventh? Yes. Oh my god. First awesome. Texas show. I'm from Arizona, so okay. this is my first awesome. time competing here. Leading up to a bodybuilding competition, you get spray tanned three or four times before stepping on stage because the stage lights are so bright, they wash out all of your definition. A dark tan guarantees that the judges can see what you're working with. Yeah! Oh. Amanda, who? Am I a different person? Yeah, uh, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It looks like you went to Jamaica. Like, damn, girl. Oh my God. Like, this is normal. Look at that. I want to touch you. Holy crap, girl. Look at your nails. Like, oh my God. Imagine if you got, like, yellow. Right. Well, let's hurry up, though, and start doing your hair and makeup. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. So, you said you wanted it, like, like a sunset smoky eye. Okay. Don't move. Because Tiffany's doing your hair. Yeah, don't move. I don't want to burn I mean, you. Are they going to get stabbed in the eye or burned? <laughs> this is hot. When it comes down to judging, like, what do they actually judge you on? Muscular tone, definition, um, symmetry is really big. You know, showtime's getting closer. Are you getting, like, nervous? I'm excited to step on stage. Being a little person, I'm up against average height women with bigger muscles. So in order to win, I need to put in twice the work. That's a tall order, literally. And it makes me really nervous. Yeah, I'll go get him. You sit there. Oh. Hi. Hi. She's Hi. getting ready still. Oh, that's uh -oh. all right. Uh-oh. Hi. Hey, you're here. Hi, Daddy. Hi. 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 Hey, kid. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Tiffany, you must Hi, be Tiffany. Amanda's dad. Amanda's dad. Yeah. Okay, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Steve. How do you like the hair and makeup so far? You're looking quite dark there. You know how it is, Dad. It looks like you used more oil. <laughs> Beautiful. Good. Yeah. Girls are awesome. I think you're good, girl. Yeah. You're ready. Yeah. It's rock and roll time. Let's go do it. We're going to kick right. ass. Let's, Let's go. Kick today's butt. <laughs> 
How's everything been today with makeup and hair? It was good. You could definitely tell she was getting nervous. So. Yeah. It's intense, like everything going on right now. And now we're going to be switching over to our women's figure class. Today is Amanda's bodybuilding competition, so we are all here to support her. I couldn't be more proud of my best friend and all the hard work that she has put in. I'm excited to see her on the stage. Hey! hey. Hello, slow pumps. Hey. What's Hi. up? Hi. How's she look? Good. Phenomenal. Yeah? She, she looks, really looks hot. Yeah, she, like, she thought she was a little nervous, but she's excited. I'm excited to like cheer her on. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm I've here. always wanted to like see this happen. Yeah. Before we sit down, though, like I have some really exciting news I want to tell all of you. I finally got accepted into this art gallery, oh. and this is a giant opportunity for me. I'm super excited, and yeah, like, congrats. Good for you. Can't wait. Hey. Cause finally, like it's my turn to like you know focus on my stuff. That's awesome. But dude. the only thing that kind of sucks is like the timing of it just kind of bad. Bad. Why? Like, Why? They have a set deadline for me where I have to like create all of my art pieces and it's already stressful enough, like, you know, with your whole bar, like the logo design, like I just don't think I have enough time for it anymore. The logo we made an agreement on? Yeah. So the logo that you agreed to do for my business that is opening this week, you're telling me that you're not doing? Like, I just don't you made have an agreement. Time for it. You made a business agreement to do my logo for my bar, and you're telling me now you're not doing it. What am I supposed to do? You if made I... a legal agreement. We already told Tara it was going to take three days instead of 24 hours to do the logo. I can't go back now and tell her that I don't have anybody to design it. The bar has to get done. Like I'm on a crunch schedule too. Like we're opening. Why didn't you tell them I'm already on a contract with somebody? This is like a giant opportunity for me. I, mean, I understand, but was it my opportunity giving you when you had no opportunities? What Didn't I give you a giant opportunity? I handed it to you. Yeah, but at the same time, it wasn't like all about me. Like this time is actually, I can actually chase after my dream. So you just sign agreements and then you throw them out the window? Emily is blowing this way out of proportion by attacking me like this, and I do not appreciate it. All I'm doing is telling her I have a lot on my plate. Trust me, I want to be able to do it all, but as a friend, I also wanted to realize how big of an opportunity this art show is for me. I have to do what's right for me, and right now this is what's best for me. It's like you said, business But a legal business. agreement is a legal agreement. I know that, but I'm just like letting you know in advance that like- In I've... advance? You're supposed to be almost done. Oh my God, this is why I was hesitant to work with Asta in the first place. I'm over it, and I'm over her. Whatever, I don't even- I don't want to talk about her right now. We should just, just go yeah. Yeah. Can we go inside? Stop. Fighting. Let's, we're here for Amanda. Yes. Let's worry about that. Okay, after. We can talk about yeah, it later. Like, Let's go. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Tiny, tiny. Out. Look at his abs. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I love this. This is like legit. I'm entertained. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is definitely worth watching. <laughs> I've been working so hard for this. Now that I'm about to step on stage, my heart is pounding. As a little person, I'm not just doing it for myself. I want to show other little people that anything is possible, and we need to celebrate who we are. Okay, get ready. All right, now we're going to be switching over to our women's figure class. Oh, look, there she is. Okay, our first competitor is number 67. There are no height divisions in this competition. Even though those girls are about five foot tall, they're still taller than me and look amazing. I just hope the judges can see past my height and judge me purely on my physique. And number 68, Amanda K. Good job. 
Killing it. Yeah. Killing it. I couldn't be happier. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. I feel like I did really well, but all of those other girls look fantastic. This competition is tough. Can I get my ladies back on stage? <laughs> I really want to break my streak of fourth place finishes. If I can make nationals by placing in the top three, that would be my dream come true. But it's all up to the judges at this point. Second place, yes, this is the best I've ever done in a competition. I'm so excited, all the hard work has finally paid off. about this competition being over is now I can eat and drink whatever I want, whenever I want. Shove it in your face. Okay. All of it. All of it. <laughs> She's having a seizure. <laughs> so uh, guys, you might want to back up. Champagne and that. I just had a donut gasm in my mouth. Who is ready to go turn up? Yeah. Right? right. Are you ready to turn up? Turn up. Yes. Yeah. Are you ready to go to bed? And... I'm ready no. to uh, hey, heard crazy yeah. dad's in town. We're going out. We're yeah. <laughs> Dad parties harder than I do. We have it's creepy old guy yeah, night. Let's go. Uh, please don't wear those right now. <laughs> Hey. Hey! What are you doing? This is so... Here, these are for you. Thanks! Oh my gosh, these are bigger than me. I, I can't even pick... I, I'm speechless. What is going on? This is all so beautiful, but so much. Like, what is Austin doing here right now? Yeah, but uh, I've been thinking, uh, I didn't really leave on best of terms with you. Uh, you know, not having a job and kind of just slacking off in life. Can I have a hug and a kiss? Hug me on FaceTime. Bye. I have a job now, and it's a steady income, so there's no problem there. And, you know, I want to be the man that you want me to be for you. When I first laid my eyes on you, I couldn't picture myself being with anybody else. And, uh, put those down real quick. Why? Just put them down. Here, give me them. You know you mean the world to me. And I love you. I was wondering if you would do me the honor and be my wife. No, like seriously, is this for real? Yeah. What do you say? Next time on Little Women Dallas. Between this and everything that Emily's trying to hand me right now, she wanted a completely new logo, so I had to redo all that. This is the new logo. Ghetto, ratchet, ugly. It's gotta go.
Oh my god. Hello. Hi everyone. Hello. We're back. Okay. Back with a job. Austin is very bad. He's like a disease. Toxic. You need to get rid of it. I hired you for a job. I need you to do the job. I'm still pissed at you with how you sold me out in front of Tara. It's life. Like, you gotta get over it. I'd like to welcome everybody to the mini bar. You need to make some noise. I don't have mine on me. The flyer says 21 at the bar. That's oh, I see Alice. Okay. That 